Hi everyone, I just wanted to shoot this quick video to do a demonstration of the difference between profit formula and your selling price formula, also known as your buy it now formula. Okay, profit formula. Your profit formula is used just to display the estimated profit on the grid. This right here, this is called the grid. Um, estimated profit, this is a column right here. And this is used to, well, the profit formula determines how the estimated profit is calculated. Okay. It does not affect the repricing of your item or anything like that. So basically what estimated profit is, it is the difference between your compare item price right here and your supplier price and minus approximately 15% or so for fees if you have not modified the default profit formula that was in there when you created your SKU grid account. Um, what is interesting to note, I know that my compare price is zero right now. That's because I choose not to use compare item URLs. So therefore my compare price is zero. Um, the re that is why this estimated profit is a negative number. However, it does not affect your repricing. Uh, it's perfectly fine. I understand that if estimated profit is your current price minus your supplier price minus fees, if I'm subtracting the supplier price and fees from zero, I will always get a negative number. So it's fine to see a negative number here if you are not using compare item URLs. If you want to use compare item URLs, you would need to edit your item and add your eBay item link or your Amazon item link in the compare item field. You would do that uh, by clicking edit. And then when you see the compare item URL spot, you would add in the eBay item link or the Amazon item link. Now, with that being said, so how do we change the profit formula if we need to do that? That would be on your settings tab. So you go to settings. You'll go to profit formulas. Okay, so what you're looking at is the main profit formula. This right here determines the estimated profit that displays on the grid. Now the default that was in there, I believe it looked like this originally. Um, there really is no need to modify it if you feel that it's giving you the correct estimated profit. Now, I did change mine to something that made more sense to me um, personally. So it's up to you whether or not you want to change it. But I will display this uh, formula here on the video so that you can change it and see it, for your, see it for yourself. But if you look at it, what it is is compare price, which is my current eBay price plus my current amount that I'm charging for shipping, which is typically zero, minus my price and my shipping times 15%. So basically 15% of my selling cost. Um, and that's the reason why I changed this because um, it looks here that this 15% is getting added on to vendor price. So I just did it in a way that... Um, the 15% is calculated on my selling cost because that is what determines my eBay and PayPal fees. Okay, so it was my price minus my fees of approximately 15%. Now, note, eBay and PayPal fees typically come to 13%, so this is a little bit more than normal. But 15% is used here as a default because that's adequate enough if you're using SKU Grid for both eBay and Amazon. Since Amazon charges 15% for fees, and there is no, there are no uh, PayPal fees. So again, it was my price minus 15% of my price for fees minus vendor price and vendor shipping added together. So basically the supplier cost. So that is how I have my profit formula set up to calculate. Now, you know, what you do, because people use compare item URL fields for different things. So you may be building different custom formulas, you know, or whatever, but this is just kind of a general example. Okay. Not everyone has to be set up this way. It is a general example, but overall there really isn't a need to change it. I just changed it to something that made more sense to me. 
but it's up to you if you change it or not. And again, this does not affect repricing. Uh, actually, when your items are listed in SKU Grid, you will still see the estimated profit, I'm sorry, the, the current price on eBay. You will still see the current stock on eBay or Amazon for that matter. So I'll, I'll just show you that really quick on a different item. Okay, so looking at the second example here, you see that I don't have compare price filled in because I'm not using compare item URLs. You see that my supplier cost is $122.20. Um, so then you're wondering, well, how do you know what your current price or your current stock level is on eBay if you're not using compare item URLs? Well, you'll know what's going on with your listing because under the reprice item column, you will see last call. This is the time and date that e uh, SKU Grid last had to make a change on your listing based on your settings. Now it's doing a lot of checking behind the scenes and it doesn't always make a change. It, it all depends on your settings. But the last time that my item was edited was April the 11th, which was yesterday at 4.50 p.m. It's telling me that my current price on eBay is $163.90 and my current stock is one. Stock will either be zero or one. If it's zero, that means the item is ended or out of stock. Basically, it's an inactive listing on eBay. If it's one, that means that the listing is active and currently for sale. Okay, so you still can see what's currently going on with your items right here. Um, and since I'm not using compare item URLs, a good way to add a note to yourself, what I would do if I were to override an item, I would just put in the reference ID field, I would put like $5 here. If I anticipated that my profit was $5, you know, I just leave notes for myself in this field reference ID when you edit the item. And that way, at a glance, even if you're not using compare item URLs, you can kind of spot check and see approximately what profit you are getting. I know it's not shown here because this is just a demonstration. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention is, well, why would you not want to use compare item URLs? Uh, there are a couple reasons. Um, the first reason is it costs an extra credit to check your items each time the item is checked. So, you know, it saves a little bit of credits if you don't use compare item URLs. The second reason is that if you're selling on eBay, okay, every time SKU Grid is checking your item, so let's just say you're set to check every hour, then SKU Grid would be basically clicking on your eBay item link and pulling that listing up. Now, every time a click is generated and it does not result in a sale or a watcher, it may drop the ranking of your listing over time. You have to think about it. That's an extra 24 views on your item per day uh, that were not views by a human being and, and it did not result in a sale or a watcher. So slowly, you know, you may lose sales rank over time. So, you know, that's another reason why I do that. Now, some people don't care and they choose to keep compare item URLs in there because they want to quickly see estimated profit on the grid. It's totally up to you. It's optional and it does not affect repricing. All right. Now, with that being said, I'm now going to show you where your actual selling price formula or buy it now formula is located. If you click on settings. And this is going to be on your eBay US your eBay UK or your Amazon US or UK tab. OK, so I'm selling on the US platform. So I'll just look here on eBay US. I'm going to scroll down to where it says calculating eBay selling price. I'm not because I don't like working with the long complex formulas like this. This I can't read. Okay. I'm not even going to try to, <laughs> um, all you do now, if you're comfortable with that, that's fine, but I, you know, it's not my preference. Um, all I would do is click switch to wizard view and I would enter the values in the wizard that I want here. Okay. And as I enter values, the formula will change. 
Okay, so if I wanted vendor tax of 8%, a margin of 5%, uh, zero fixed margin, a minimum margin of $3, um, PayPal fees of 2.9, and the transaction fee for PayPal is 30 cents, eBay fees for me would be 9, uh, depending on whether or not you have a store, it will either be 9 or 10, and includes supplier shipping and calculations. That's all I would do and I would leave it alone. And then this would be your default selling formula, also known as selling price formula or buy it now formula. Okay, this is what determines the pricing of your items. And SKU Grid will use this formula on this tab to reprice your items if the items have not been overridden. If you did not override those items and give it a different formula, um, then it will use this formula. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, I hope this helps to clear up the questions about uh, profit formulas versus selling price formulas.